Welcome back guys, welcome to my channel Posh Cat Eyes Unfiltered. Do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. It means a lot to me when you do that. Um, let's just get down to the nitty gritty of today. This is a personal one guys, it's one of my random reflection moments. And it's about the current trend on social media regarding marriage breakdown and uh, you know, just coming out, it's just coming out in the public space and us having to scrutinize and you know, speak on other people's problem right yes the institution of marriage as a bondage to african women under the ties of together for better or worse or better and worse right we're going to talk about a few things regarding most of the trending topics that i've been trying to you know just unpack from social media let's just get into it social media lately there's been a lot of news trending First was an Af is an African woman or African lady by the name Cora and her marital woes. And there's a Nigerian actress who goes by the name Kechi and should we say uh, fake marriage or marriage drama playing out, you know, on social media at the moment. And just recently, which is the reason why I've decided I'm going to talk about this, I'm going to speak on this, is the death of a popular female singer, you know, by the name Osinachi Wachuku, who is who it has been alleged or who is being alleged to have been a victim of domestic violence perpetrated by her husband you know the overriding team i have noticed is how successful these three women are and the way their spouses you know have gone or chosen to go about airing dirty laundry for the world to see you know just speaks on all there is to say about how the patriarchy uh, our society has failed mostly the african women Honestly, it's just not a good uh, matchup when it comes to um, uh, the level at which male and female are being you know, regarded or are being respected or the roles in society. For the Nigerian actress in Kichi, I really cannot comment on this as it is so salacious and messy to unpack from faking a marriage to allegations of infidelity to financial drain i think these two need to figure out what's going on i think we should however be kind and show compassion with words to all parties involved when there's a breakdown in communication and a breakdown in the relationship it get messy words are being said people are angry and i don't think we need to pile on currently regarding this situation that's trending on social media at the moment a friend actually messaged me about the Cora issue I will say I had no idea about who she is until this public breakdown of her union and my this friend actually said they seem so happy together on Instagram they just had a baby whose delivery you know was shared on their social media handles to their fans and friend and my response was the operative word here is they seem so happy you only get to see a curated two second snapshot or a five minute video of their lives forgetting the other 23 hours and 55 minutes year round you know you and i don't get to see or we ain't privy to exactly what's happening in their lives it's a mask that women have now perfected we have perfected wearing this mask of pain in of showing happiness in the midst of and it's also worthy of note that her brand on social media was basically to promote interracial loving at its finest and her partner decided the one way to get even was to use the same channel you know of her success to get even with her how pathetic how low and how sad you see i cannot speak on your problem because guess what there's three sides to the story her side his side and the truth i hope they find a way to heal from this for the sake of their kids because now we're hearing police are being called i'm gonna sue i'm gonna demand child support i'm gonna do this it's just getting messy i really don't need to know all of this but again in compassion and in kindness we wish the both of them together or separately the best now the point you might ask is is society pressure on women to be able to keep you know a happy front despite the reverse being the case 
sits at the heart of the issue here. Seriously, it is. It is okay to say it is not okay. I am struggling, I need help, or I have had it, and please support my decision to get out and find happiness and not feel shame or feel that I'm not worthy for a second chance. And that is the problem why women are still in, you know, situations where they're not comfortable in. What would people, what would society think? What will my friends say? They're going to mock me. My parents might not support me. You know, it's a lot of pressure that this woman you see them bottling things up and just staying regardless of how much it hurts them to stay. It is also unacceptable to, you know, for a church to detect to what you should do and what you shouldn't do when you are in a situation that, pos that poses a massive risk to your life as it is now alleged to be the case of the late gospel singer Osinachi. I'm saying this, it is also okay, you know, to try to the best of your ability to make things work in a safe way, however you see fit. It is also okay to explore every aspect of who you are whilst you are in your situation until you find out what works best for you. I am not going to comment on, oh, there's, uh, you were cheating on me whilst married. I'm not going to comment on, oh, you did this. It's not my place to comment. We do not know what people go through or how people choose to deal with situations. Let's focus on the problem here. And that is us scrutinizing, pointing fingers, mocking people's uh, uh, misery. It's not right. We should support them however way we can. These problems are not unique. I am pretty sure our parents, our mothers have, you know, we have a lot of tales to tell us on how society pressured them to be happy when they were in pain. Yeah, exactly. But they didn't have the outlet of the social media to cry out like we have nowadays. I hope we can use these, you know, as a guide to best manage our own realities because you and I have things going on in our lives that, you know, we won't want, want to see or we won't want anyone to know about. But there's always a learning course and when things like this play out on social media, play out for us to see, what do you learn from it? Take something out from it that feels, you know, that suits your situation. And above all else, let's be kind to ourselves and be kind to each other. Until my next upload, guys, please stay safe. Bye from now.